Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, a $400 laptop gaming setup. We know there's a lot of people out there who primarily use a laptop, and this setup is for you. But before we dive into this, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by HP and their HP Omen 15 gaming laptop. This specific laptop we actually decided to use in this video, and if you hit the i in the top right corner, you can see a whole review of it, was the i7-9750H, 16 gigs of RAM, and the 15.6 inch 144 hertz IPS display. Thanks again to HP for sponsoring this video. Now, let's talk about that setup, shall we? So if you guys don't know, we actually stream over on twitch.tv slash toastybros where we do a lot of setup reviews. And a lot of times these setup reviews just so happen to have laptops, which we kind of think is weird. But you know, we decided, Let's actually tame those laptop people and show them a proper laptop gaming setup. Now, the $400 does not include the laptop. Keep that in mind. This is kind of like a universal setup that you could just plug your existing laptop into and have a pretty decent setup. Now, ideally, you're probably gonna have a gaming laptop because of the monitor we have right here, but you could easily swap this monitor for just a basic monitor and use some of these other peripherals to make a laptop setup that's good for you to be able to unplug, take this thing on the go, and then come back and have a full setup at home. So how about we go ahead and talk a little bit about this laptop and then the peripherals that we have. So the laptop that we're actually using in this $400 setup is actually a $1,300 laptop. It's a really good laptop from HP. There's actually a video if you want to check the links down in the description below or check up top. But this laptop is an HP Omen 15T. It's a 15 inch 144 hertz display that's 1080. RTX 2060, which is a six gig card, amazing card. The i7 9750H, which is a true six core, pretty much on par with like a Ryzen 30, 500, 30, 600 range. And all with a 16 gigabyte stick of RAM, which that part's a little bit depressing, just a single stick, but it actually did not really slouch in gaming at all. It did better than any laptop that we've tested. And it also comes with a 256 gig NVMe drive and a one terabyte hard drive, um, all on a nice RGB keyboard, which uh, maybe we'll turn on. Yep, there we go. RGB keyboard for the backlighting. So it's pretty gamery, um, the back looks really nice as well so yeah if you guys want to check out that video links in the description down below but uh, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the peripherals that are going to make up this setup now all right guys so a setup is not complete without a monitor so the main concept here is we're going to have this laptop plugged in this is going to be like the secondary display or or pro probably the primary display if you're going to be gaming and if you have a laptop that doesn't have hertz but anyways this is the pixio px 247 this is a 1080p 144 hertz monitor but the big selling point about this monitor is it's ips so this could be a great secondary display if you do any color work or any photo editing or video editing on the go and you want to come home and have a place where you can get good colors on a separate monitor so this is a good option especially if your laptop does not come with good color accuracy you could opt for this and it comes in at a really respectable price point of around 160 dollars which is a really really good value for a 144 hertz monitor so be sure to check the links down below for any of the stuff that we're mentioning here they are affiliate links and if you do purchase using those links they will help the channel out but i'm very excited to unbox this monitor and see what it's all about. Now, another key feature of this setup is this laptop stand. Now, the one we have right here was about $40 on Amazon. It was mainly designed for MacBooks, as you can tell from its aesthetic design with the aluminum body. But this is a really awesome thing to have because one, when you do put it on the stand, you can have your laptop be lined up with any sort of monitor. Now, there are some that have come with better adjustments to where you can perfectly line it up with another display, but also another big selling point is to give it better ventilation. Now, we decided to go with almost the same company for the peripheral we had Tilted Nation. They sent a bunch of their peripherals to us for an ad spot on the channel coming up very soon. And we decided to use some of their stuff because it actually looked really good and the value you're getting for these products is actually pretty impressive. First up with the mouse. This is their FPS gaming mouse, the Deadshot. It comes in at around $20, which is a pretty awesome value for an RGB mouse. We're gonna give it a shot. Again, with all this stuff, it's pretty universal. You can go with any sort of mouse, any sort of headset, anything you really want. But these are ones that we really wanted to showcase and this mouse is actually a pretty solid value. Um, we're gonna take a look at it in just a moment, but I think it'll be pretty good. So this part of the setup is totally not necessary, but since Tilted Nation sent over all this stuff, we decided to include it. This is a mouse bungee that's also a USB port extension. It has four USB ports on it. Um, it looks like they are USB 2, so not crazy good, but if you wanted to add like extra peripherals or something to your setup, you most definitely could, and it helps you with cable management if you want to. Uh, but the purpose of a mouse bungee is basically to raise the cable of your mouse off a desk surface so it doesn't have drag. It's supposed to improve your 
performance. Totally unnecessary. It's extra money that if you don't need something like this, you don't need to spend it. But again, we wanted to showcase it in this setup. And lastly, from Tilted Nation, we have a desk mat right here. They do have a couple of options. We were only able to see this one on Amazon. They did send another one that looks pretty cool, had like a retro wave vibe to it. Uh, but this one right here is going to look really nice on this desk. Again, it's a mouse pad. You can go with pretty much anything you want for this setup. But again, we went with the Tilted Nation collection of peripherals. A setup is not complete without a keyboard. We have the Neon K90 RGB. This is an RGB mechanical keyboard, which is going to look really nice on this setup that it's almost already put together. Um, and it comes in at a very respectable price point. You actually have this really nice volume knob too. It has all the media controls you could want. Again, you could go with a wide range of different options for a mechanical keyboard, but we wanted to give this guy a shot from Roswell. And last, but certainly not least, Corsair was nice enough to send over their HS60 Pro headset. Now this isn't wireless. This is a typical basic wire headset with a microphone, but the main reason we went with this is it's very cost effective and it does have pretty good sound quality for the money. You can go with a wide range of headsets from Corsair, but this one we asked particularly for because of the value that you're getting out of it and the fact that we could use it in some of our budget setups without having to go with cheaper alternatives out there like the Impow headset that we've used numerous times here on the channel. So how about we go ahead, put this laptop setup together, which won't take very long at all, and then show you exactly how it works. All right, guys, the first game we are going to be testing is Modern Warfare. Now, this is just a setup video, so we're just going to demo some games real quick on this setup. But I mean, hey, it looks pretty nice, I have to say. We can have our pretend chat open on our secondary monitor, which is technically actually the laptop. But, you know, just to get an idea of uh, what you could be doing with your second monitor. So we're currently on high settings, which uh, actually looks really good. Um, so we're getting around 80, 90 FPS. I mean, we're, we're getting over the, the, the 60 FPS mark, not quite at our uh, 144 hertz mark or anything, but you know, this, this definitely works. We could lower some settings a little bit to get slightly better um, frame rate, but we're just, we're just going for what looks the best right now. And I am getting, oh my gosh, how do I do the shot Q. thingy? Q. I am no COD professional, but this headset though, so. on a side note, sounds amazing. Like this is, it's actually pretty amazing how good this headset sounds. Yeah, the performance is pretty solid. Again, if you want to see a dedicated video of this laptop, hit the I in the top right corner. Uh, but I mean, this is a pretty solid setup. I can see somebody who uses a laptop for work coming home and having this as their main gaming system, especially if they got a gaming notebook with something like a 2060 in it. It'd be a no brainer to run this as your setup. Oh no. Yeah, Bruh, freaking that's, that's, shot. that's what you, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what they saw coming right there. I didn't even mean to pick that oh. up. Hey, there we go. This stuff can make you a pro. Dude, that's what I'm saying. All right, guys, that was Call of Duty. Sorry about the uh, horrible gameplay. But uh, yeah, we managed to hold around uh, 80 to 90 FPS pretty much the whole game on high settings with dual monitors on this laptop, so it's pretty good. Let's try one more game, guys. All right, guys, the next game we're going to be testing is Overwatch, and we are running this on ultra settings. Again, this isn't a dedicated benchmarking video. We're mainly just showing how the setup works. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go over here and go to something like, you know, twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, which you should definitely check out. It's an awesome place to watch awesome live streams. And we'll pull up a past live stream and have it just play in the background real quick while we play a game. We got a stream going in the background. Let's pull up Overwatch and see how this goes. Okay, boys, we are in a match right now. And yeah, we are getting a little bit lower FPS numbers because of having other things open in the background, but that is kind of to be expected. I have not played as this character before, so I have no idea what's going on. Hit him. So, uh! <laughs> Dude, you're Boy, oh my goodness. All right, we'll see if we respond to somebody who actually can play. 
Okay, here we go. I feel more comfortable now. All right, let's run around, guys. Um, yeah, you can see I am learning about Ryzen 3000 series while playing Overwatch. What a great, great combo here. So we're gonna run up on this guy real quick. Probably not the best idea. Oh, I'm having to evacuate. Ah! Yeah, performance is pretty solid. I mean, ultra settings, you could probably lower the settings and get over 100 FPS if you wanted to. Um, but I mean, this is a pretty, pretty nice little combo. I could definitely see myself using a setup like this if I ever used a laptop instead of a desktop. So uh, pretty, pretty cool. Oh God, and these peripherals from uh, Tilted are not too shabby. Wow, I almost got them, but I died again. This guy's playing like a bigger bot. No, <laughs> still got I you. still didn't kill him. It's ridiculous. Well, at least I'm learning about Ryzen 3000 series at the same time on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Oh, 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 yeah, I killed, killed somebody. Someone. Let's go. That's all I needed to do. That's all I need to do. All right, we're going to run around, free some people. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> ah, I hate this character. <laughs> no. God dang it! Killed by kill switch. But hey, look at that. 3300X, how beautiful. So how about we go ahead and wrap this up real quick. So as you guys can see, this is actually a really capable laptop setup. Now, of course, this is really all gonna depend on your laptop. The monitor and all the peripherals are gonna work the exact same, but you know, the gaming part of it, the gaming $400 laptop setup, that's gonna be up to the laptop that you get. So it's a little bit different than whenever we do one of our actual budget setups because we include the computer and you know what type of performance you're gonna get. So this one's kind of up to you guys. So really overall, I think this is a pretty plug and play solution. You could invest in something like a docking station that allows you to plug all your peripherals and monitors into one cable to avoid this mess that you have to do every single time you come home and you sit your laptop on your setup, but that's an extra expense. So you could look at that. We'll probably leave some suggestions down below, but this setup overall is pretty solid for the money. I'm pretty happy with these tilted peripherals and that Roswell keyboard is pretty solid and it does come in a wide range of uh, switch options as well if you're interested in picking it up, which as we mentioned, if you wanna pick up anything from this video, links in the description down below. Those are affiliate links and they do help out the channel a lot. So we really do appreciate it if you do use those to purchase stuff from this setup. Also, don't forget to check us out on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros and our other two YouTube channels listed right here. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go gamers, go. Look at me, I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs>